what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be installing one of the holiest of holy grail items that you could possibly buy for a zanki s14 and the crazy thing is i actually own two of these now now if you guys look behind me you might be able to figure out one of the things that i'm going to be installing today in the s14 sylvia because well i got half of the front end taken apart and well obviously by the thumbnail and all that stuff you guys probably figured it out anyway but i actually have another set of glass headlights that we're going to be putting on the sylvia but they're a little different than the ones that i did a long time ago inside the box here i have a set of brand new left hand drive german glass headlights where these were actually used ones from the uk the main difference between this one and what's in the box over here is this one is designed for a right hand drive configuration so like if you're in england or you're in japan or something those are perfect for you but in this box living over here in the united states this is exactly what i need now i've already given you guys a video before where i installed the headlights and it's really a the same process the main thing this video is going to focus on are what are the differences visually that we can see when we compare the two side by side because how often do you ever see that now i've already got the driver's side already taken apart for the most part all i gotta do is pull it out unplug it and then we're gonna be good to go but it's really the same process as any other zanki when you pull stuff apart you got your grill you got your two bolts here you got your two bolts over or two nuts over here you got your corner light and then the screw that goes in over here and everything pops out just fine. The main thing that I think I'm gonna be concerned about is where we had the problem year, uh, well, what, a year and a half ago or a year ago when I did the other glass headlights? If, well, these glass headlights, I should say, where the bright light had a different connector. And I think we're gonna run into the same issue with the ones that we have in here, but won't be a problem. We'll swap over these to these. the driver's side that we have already taken off my car now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the other one out of here to see if we can see the difference between the new ones and the older ones because i know there's a couple differences but i don't know let's see oh there is nothing like unboxing brand new parts that are discontinued i mean it's kind of a bittersweet feeling because you know you'll never get that part again but whatever here we go so inside the box we got the right hand side over here as you guys can tell by the r and then I can already tell you one of the major differences is this one actually has the motor, whereas the other one doesn't. But I'll show you guys that here in just a sec. Let me go ahead and pull it out of the box and then we'll put it side by side with this one. So we got them side by side now and you can clearly see that they're obviously very similar, right? I mean, that's the whole point. Now, Alex Chang is the guy that I bought these from. And if you guys are on the S14 forums or on the back shelf Facebook group, you guys will know who he is. He's got all sorts of Nissan parts that he ordered from Nissan obviously years ago. And they finally came in and I was lucky enough to be one of the people that got one of these headlight sets. But uh, he was going on and saying there was a difference in the glass and a couple other things he's got a whole really good ad on it like on facebook and then of course he's got all the details about it as well so i'm gonna see if we can visually see if there's any major things because i think there was something about the glass this is e13 this is e13 i don't see anything different there 12.5 12.5 as well uh let's see E1320, 3488. The only thing I noticed is this one has, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me see if I could zoom in. This has got a 3487. This has a 3489, it looks like. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Again, I don't know. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I'm just pointing out some visual things. 04HR, 04HR, that's identical. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really see a whole lot on the outside that's popping out it means being like oh yeah this is way obvious because to be honest i don't see much everything is the same on these sides everything is the same over here not a whole lot visually on the front let's see if we flip them around and you know kind of get an idea from there now aside from the obvious things like the screws having a little bit of oxidation on them from just being 
used and having the regular wear and tear don't see much of a major difference obviously aside from the motor so this is the piece that actually controls the leveling inside the car if you have the switch which i don't have yet there's a good write-up on zilvia.net i think it was or somewhere on nico forums i don't know one of these older forums where somebody actually wrote up how to wire it up which is part of the future plan I'll stick around for that one don't miss that one but what i do want to point out is this is the bright light and this was the problem that i had with this one as well and this is interesting because they must have a different set of headlights for, or well, bulbs, I should say, for the European market, because this was what this one came with. What I did was I took the bright light from my Sylvia headlight, the Japanese one, and I swapped it into there to allow it to connect to my connectors. I've seen where people have taken this and they've, no, they've taken the other connector from the harness where it plugs in over here. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. And what they did is they chopped this one off and then they put a connector that matches up to this one. I don't know what the benefit is, to be honest. This light might be better, or this light might be better. Realistically, I have no idea, but that could be a future investigation. Uh, let's see, on the top, any of the writing look a little different? Uh, hang on, let me put these on, well, let me just turn them around so we can get a better idea of what they actually look like on the top. So here we can see on the top, some of the writing on the uk edition one so this talks about the wattage for i believe the bright headlight and then we got the wattage for the smaller one for the regular housing and then over here we have the same writing and again i believe that's the same h3 12 volt 55 watt h3 12 volt 55 watt so that's the same and then we got h4 12 volt 60 and again H4, 12 volt 60, 55 watt. So they're pretty much identical wattage wise. I don't really see what the difference is, to be honest, other than the fact that this one is made for the left hand drive market. This one is made for the right hand drive market. I mean, other than that, I mean, again, this one comes with the motor to adjust the headlights. So that's cool. This one doesn't have it. It's not a necessity. I drove just fine with this one. No issues whatsoever. But, you know, it's a cool feature to have. And if you can do it, why not have it, right? Now, if it wasn't obvious, I'm starting to lose all my sunlight and I'm gonna need to start putting these headlights in now before the sun goes down. If you guys wanna see the installation, I'll go ahead and link the other video that he did. It was a really thorough, in-depth installation video and you can see how I did the headlights and everything as far as like the, the high beams go. And anyway, I'll link all that stuff up above and you guys can click on it. I'll, maybe I'll put it in the description. I don't know, I'll link it somewhere. But either way, check it out if you guys are really curious about the whole process. But right now, let me go throw these in and then after this, we'll go ahead and start leveling them and then maybe we'll take it for a test drive or maybe tomorrow morning or something when it's a little dark and you guys can see the difference. I have a video from before where I was driving with the right-hand drive set, the one that's already on the car, and then you can kind of compare and contrast to see what the cutoff beam looks like. So anyway, let me go ahead and throw these lights in. Just a little quick update. I actually plugged the lights in and everything just to test them out, see if everything worked okay. And honestly, the visual output looks about the same. And I haven't even leveled the lights, so to be honest, I might not even have to level these. But you can tell the cutoff is obviously higher on the right side, which is what I wanted, because this is the dominant side to see the stuff on the right-hand side of the road. So, this actually works perfect. I am very happy with this, and uh, I did have to do the exact same thing. I can't really show you guys because it's a little too dark here, but I had to swap over the bright light on this one, so everything worked out just fine and this is actually what it looks like right here Let's see if i can show you guys here in the light so this is the bright light you just have to kind of pry off this plug it's not that hard you just got to go from the front here i use a little pick tool and it worked just fine and then this is on a ground on the headlight and then here's the actual bulb so easy peasy final product all the lights are installed everything is buttoned up now and everything went pretty well honestly we got everything lined up just nicely with the corners which worked out pretty good my other one didn't line up the last time but these things are kind of messed up anyway on the inside they got this little ball joint that bolts into the headlight and it's kind of cracked and messed up so gotta replace those at some point but as you can see the headlights are done this is where the headlight adjustment motor goes let's see if i can get a clearer picture in there um let's see there we go so now you guys can see it pretty focused in and it clears that pretty well i guess that's why it always had that little indentation there i never knew why so anyway we're gonna go ahead and take this for a test drive and see how everything looks hopefully the alignment of the lights are pretty good and we can see test driving the car now and initial impressions it's definitely looking a whole lot better they are higher than the way i had it before so that could just be 
the way I had it set up incorrectly before. <laughs> I don't know, but the good thing is if you guys look, you can see the cutoff beam going to the right side. And you know, that's the most important thing because before when I had it aligned, it was set to the left. And you know, being over here in the United States, we need everything to light up on the right side. But the cutoff beam looks really good. The light output pretty much looks the same as how I had it before. And honestly, I haven't even made any headlight adjustments. And I kind of like where it's at at the moment. We'll find out tomorrow when I go to work and everybody starts blinding me with their headlights. <laughs> I think that'll be the way I'll know that everything is lined up or not. So, but yeah, I think everything looks pretty good. You know, I got the lights just the way they came and I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm just going to leave it at that and see what happens tomorrow. And if anybody blinds me, then I'll adjust them. So here's another view of the forest in front of us. And you can clearly see that the, the cutoff beam on the left side and the right side are perfectly shining on the right side and it's angling upwards which to be honest I must have had them incorrectly lined up before with my other headlights because I wasn't getting this much light output but <laughs> next time I'll know better to raise them up a little bit but honestly I like it I think it looks good just a quick update everything went perfectly this morning and last night too when I drove the car nobody was flashing me to tell me that they were blinded by my lights or anything like that but just to quickly show you guys what the lights look like Everything looks fantastic. Honestly, I couldn't complain one bit about these. I mean, how often do you actually get to put in a fresh set of Zanke crystal clear headlights? I mean, almost never, right? All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me put the glass headlights on, well, again. Uh, but in the next video, we got lots of other stuff to put on the Sylvia. So if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments below. I mean, like I said, I got tons of S14 goodies still left to put on. In fact, I got a couple new things here that you guys probably didn't see in the last video. So stick around, guys. We got lots of goodies. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>